Introducing the TP-Link B19000 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 router. It has four times faster speeds compared to Wi-Fi 6. It comes with two 10G LAN ports and four 2.5G LAN ports. It also has got a USB 3.0 port. There are 8 optimally positioned antennas. Along with beam forming, deliver more capacity, stronger and more reliable connections with less interference. This is the TP-Link BE19000 Wi-Fi 7 router, part of the high-end Archer BE800 series. The Archer BE800 provides Wi-Fi speeds to Wi-Fi 7 clients four times faster than previous Wi-Fi 6 or 6E routers. The fast 19 Gbps 12 stream tri-band Wi-Fi means that every device in your home network will run at top performance. There are three bands. The brand new 6 GHz band provides exceptional bandwidth and congestion-free channels up to 11.5 Gbps. It has four times lower latency with minimal buffering, enables applications like virtual reality or augmented reality, video conferencing, and online gaming so that you can always run at top performance. We're going to unbox and show you the router and set it up for use in our home through the Keter app. These are the package contents. So this is the BE800 router. It sports a futuristic and upright design. And it has got an LED screen, which we will see when we power it up later. This LED screen can display real-time weather time, text, and even emojis with up to 3000 plus customized graphics. All this can be done using the Keter app. On the front, you can see three buttons, the WPS button, the Wi-Fi button, and the LED button. Inside the router's new casing, there are eight powerful antennas providing tri-band Wi-Fi and 12 streams to clients simultaneously. Let's take a look at the back of the router. At the back, you can see two 10 Gbps ports that provide true 10G multi-gigabit connectivity, enabling flexible support for both fiber and copper connections. There are additional four 2.5 Gbps ports and one USB 3.0 port and that makes it an ideal solution for future proving your home at work. Next, we're going to connect the hardware and set up the network. So first we will power on the TP-Link BE800 router. Connect the power cord to the wall socket and with the other end, plug it into the router. Use the LAN cable that come in box, 
plug one end into the modem and with the other end plug it into the WAN port or the WAN port plug it into port number one Turn on the power at the wall socket. Turn on the router by pressing on the power button over here. When the router says hi to you, it is ready for setup. To set up the network, you will need to download and log in the Tether app. If you need the app, simply download from Play Store. You may need to create an account if it is the first time using. So as we have already installed the Tether app, we will start up the app. There are no devices found. Let's add device. Select Wireless Router Select Archer BE800 We have already connected our hardware Go to Next Go to Next We have already done this Go to Next Go to Next Go to Next our router's LED is displaying high. Go to next. Step 1. You need to get the Wi-Fi info, which is the SSID and password on the product label. This can be found at the back of the router. We have already done that. Step 2. Connect to the network. Connect to Wi-Fi settings. Let's do that. We will select the TP-Link B66A Enter the Wi-Fi password Let's connect The internet may not be available We will select Always Connect Let's head back to our app Select I'm connected. Select Archer BE 800. We need to create a local password to manage our device. So let's create a new password. Let's create. Now you need to select the correct port number. We have connected to port 1 on our router. Go to next. We will select dynamic IP and go to next. We will not need to change our MAC address. Go to next. So for smart connect, we will prefer to have our own SSID for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So we will uncheck the Smart Connect. And for the 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, we will name it as Technology Tips 2.4. Go to Next. Go to next. You can keep your router updated. We'll skip for now. Let's apply. Let's connect to either one of our network. Let's connect to our Technology Tips 2.4 GHz network.
Let's key in the password. Let's connect. We will also connect to the technology tips 5 gigahertz. Let's connect. Do note that we are not able to detect the 6 gigahertz because our phone doesn't support 6 gigahertz. So in order to connect to 6 gigahertz, your device or phone need to be able to support that. For now, we'll connect to the 5 gigahertz. Let's head back to the Keter app. Tap on I'm connected. There, you have successfully set up the Archer BE800 for use in your home network. We'll close this Home Shield subscription service for now. Let's do a speed test with our new router. So this is the download and upload speed using our Samsung Galaxy S21 phone. So this is how you unbox and set up your TP-Link BE800 Wi-Fi 7 router.